Hey guys, what's up? Turtle Roller here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a quick quiz program on Microsoft Visual Basic Express. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you see, I've tried to make one twice, and my second one worked perfectly. So just open yourself up a new project. Uh, choose a Windows Forms application. And I'm going to resize my form a bit. But what you're going to need is text box going on like that. Then you're going to need two buttons like that. So now I could change the font and everything, but um, I'm a little bit too lazy to be doing that. And then you have your label. Okay, well, label, you stupid thing. Like that. So let's edit the text on button one. Text will say submit. I'm going to make this a little bit. That. Button two will be quit or close or exit or whatever. Label one is whatever you want your question to be, your first question of your quiz. So let's say. Who is the Prime Minister of Canada? So now because Hypercam's a piece of crap and I'm looking for a better recording software, you guys probably can't see any of this, so I'm going to make the text really big. So you, I'll make my form huge. Okay, so let's, refine, let's resize this form quite a bit. So that's be like that wide. And uh, there. Make this like so. Drag this down. Like that. So now you guys can probably read all that. Or at least you can read it better. Um, I'm also going to change the font on this to 16. Okay. So now you're going to want to double click on your quit button. And just type in close bracket bracket. So that makes it when they click on the quit button, it closes it. So nothing else happens when you get anything else but quit equals quitting. Go back to your form design. Now, here's when we're gonna here's where we're gonna get into the important stuff. Double click on submit. Here, you're gonna dim A as string. A or B, you can change this to be whatever you want. As long as you dim it as a string. Whoa, whoa, what what just happened? So now you're going to make A, or whatever you call this, your text box, one dot text. So basically, whatever you call this, A, is this. So A is equal to this. It's just a lot easier to work with A than text box, one dot text. So now here's where you're going to get into your answer. So if a or text box one dot text equals, let's say Stephen Harper is the prime minister. Stephen Harper. Oops, Harper. Then label one dot text equals um, congratulations. Or I'll just say correct. So that means here. So I'll make that say correct. So if you get this answer correct, so if you type in Stephen Harper correctly and submit it, that'll make that say correct. So now let's get to the other part. So if A 
is lesser more than Stephen Harper. So that's just saying if it's not Stephen Harper. Then message box incorrect. Incorrect. Closing. So now if you get it wrong, so now let's say J. A message box will come up say saying incorrect closing. So now let's make the program close if you get that incorrect. So now if A is anything else or less or more than Stephen Harper. Then close. So it closes it if it's anything different than Stephen Harper. So now, you guys are probably wondering why I'm using a message box instead of label1.txt. The reason for that is, is if I make the label1.txt say incorrect closing, then the program closes before you get to read what it says on label1.txt. But if I use a message box, then you have to hit OK before the program closes. So let's show. So just saying, Stephen Harper. Correct. Say J. Incorrect. Close it. Then it closes. Okay. So let's get on to the next part. Th this is just one page your quiz. You want to have a multi page quiz, right? So now you're going to go to Project and add a new Windows form. Windows form. And then resize that and do whatever you want with it. But I don't want to do that yet. So now you're going to want to go back into Form 1 Design. So you know. You're gonna to want to have a link to the other. Um, you're gonna to want to have a link to um, to your next form on this form. Sorry, I just had a bit of a brain fart there. But you don't want them to be able to see that link before anything else happens. So, so oh, what? Why'd that pop up? Get off my screen, hypercam. Okay. So, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go into your form one design. And you're going to make the label change, say, correct. Click here to continue. So this will make it. So when you get it correct. Oh, crap. I shouldn't add those capitals. It's too late, though. So now it'll say, correct, click here to continue. So we'll make it so once you click there, that'll let you continue. So go back on your form design and double click this. And here you're going to type in dim form 2 as new form 2. So this is going to make it to mentioning form 2 as a new form. So form 2 is this thing right here that we just created. And then down here we can put form two dot show. So it shows form two once you click on that after it dimensions it in, as a new form. So let's just go through this. So J is false, so it says incorrect closing, then it closes. And then Stephen Harper happens to be correct. So correct click here to continue. Click it, brings up your new form. And then you can edit your new form to be basically the exact same as your old form. So you drag in your uh, text box, you drag in your buttons, drag in your label, and then make it just a different question with the same sort of properties. So as long as you remember this stuff right here, I don't know how well you can see it because as I said, hypercam's a piece of crap. Then as long as you remember that, then you should be alright. But Thanks for watching my video, and uh, definitely if you have any problems, post in the comments, or post a video response, and subscribe and like the video so I know that the people that are watching it are enjoying what I'm putting up. And one last thing, if you guys have any good ideas for a free video recorder, that'd be great. I'm thinking about getting Camtasia, but I don't know, I've heard some good stuff and some bad stuff about it. I, I just, uh, I don't want to spend a lot on a video recorder, and I want to be able to record in HD. So I'm just going to save this as 
Uh, this will be quiz three, I think. Save. And there. So now you can pop this up just as like a drag this out of here. Uh, can, can you change the uh, I, w I wonder. No. I was just looking to see if you could change the uh, picture. Oh. Can you? Apparently not. But yeah, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you guys later. Stop.